Hello, this is Dr. Vijay. Let's talk about human chromosomes and an overview of chromosomal disorders. In Greek, chromosomes, the term or the word chromosome means colored body, where chroma means color and soma means body. So these are cell structure inside the nucleus observed under microscope after colorful dye staining. Each chromosome is made up of DNA tightly coiled many times around protein called histones. So these are histones and this coiling is absolute necessary because if you unwind the DNA it would be stretch up to 6 feet. So that is the reason this DNA the thread like DNA they are coiled around a protein and to form a compact structure inside the nucleus and they are called chromosomes. In humans, each cell normally contains 23 pairs of chromosomes or 46 chromosomes. Okay, this is for the male and this is for the female. In male, we have X and Y in the 23rd pair and in female we have two copies of X chromosomes. Among these the 22 pairs are called autosomes. So in both male and female 22 pairs are called autosomes and the 23rd pair is called sex chromosomes. So this picture is complete set of chromosomes in male and female that is number, size and shape and this is called karyotyping. Now, each chromosome pair made up of two sister chromatids. Okay, so it can, it could be like this one chromatid and it could be like this another chromatid or it could be like this, this is one and this one. We can see a constricted region called centromere and please remember the position of the centromere need not be at the center of each chromosome. Sometimes it may located almost at the end of the chromosome. And the region on either side of centromere are referred to as arms of the chromosome. So these are called short arms and the long arms. And usually when we study chromosomal disorders, we will not write short arm and long arm. Instead, we write P. Suppose chromosome 9P means, so the disorder or defect of the genes in the short arm of the chromosome 9. Similarly, for long arms, we usually write small letter Q. So all 23 pair of chromosomes differ with respect to size, shape and position of the centromere of each copies of the chromosome or sister chromatids. Now the centromeres are rich in adenine and thymine residues and in the periphery or the end of the chromosomes both in short arms and long arms we can see a region called telomeres. They are relatively rich in thymine and guanine residues. Now we will see chromosomal disorders. So I am not going in detail about each disorders just I am giving the example. I will be making separate detailed video about individual disorders in future. Chromosomal disorders could be classified in two ways. One is numerical chromosomal disorders. Another one is structural chromosomal disorders. So numerical chromosomal disorders means among 23 pairs, there may be one copy missing or there may be added one or two or three copies to the normal pair. So these numerical chromosomal disorders are referred to as aneuploidy. Okay, aneuploidy means may be missing or addition of copies of the chromosome to the normal 
46 chromosomes structural chromosomal disorders means a part of chromosome could be deleted or could be added or switched between the two chromosomes or sometimes part or region of the chromosome will be reversed or inversed or upside down so we will see one by one all these disorders first we will see numerical chromosomal disorders this is a diagrammatic illustration of 23 pairs of normal human chromosomes and please note that the size shape and position of each 46 copies of chromosomes are different 22 pairs of autosomes and sex chromosomes so in case of female xx and in case of male xy and this is the symbol for female and this is the symbol for male now we'll see the numerical chromosome disorder observe 21st pair of chromosomes here an extra copy of chromosome is present then it would be referred to as autosomal aneuploidy this is called trisomy 21 and the name of the disease or disorder or abnormality is called down syndrome so again this is normal representation of karyotype both in male and female 22 pair of autosomes and 23rd is sex chromosomes now let us focus chromosome 18 this is again an autosomal aneuploidy where an extra chromosome is present in chromosome 18 and that is why it is also a trisomy we refer to as trisomy 18 and the disorder is called edwards syndrome please focus on chromosome 13 now there are two copies derived from father and mother suppose there is an extra copy present in the chromosome 13 it will lead to autosomal aneuploidy and again it is a trisomy and trisomy 13 and the syndrome is called pato syndrome this is diagrammatic illustration of female karyotype where 23rd pair we have two copies of x chromosome so this is normal now suppose one more copy of x added here so this also becomes trisomy and these disorders are called sex chromosome aneuploidies trisomy and the disease or syndrome is called triple x syndrome this is male karyotypic presentation the normal karyotypic of the male with the 22 pair of autosomes and 23rd is x and y if extra x is added again it will become sex chromosome aneuploidy and trisomy again because there are three copies now in sex chromosomes and the name of the disorder is called klinefelter syndrome seen in male because already there is x and y so there is one more x added here this is also male sex chromosomes normal karyotypic representation now already there is x and y if one more y is added it will become sex chromosome aneuploidy trisomy and the syndrome is called xyy syndrome this is representation of female normal karyotyping where we have we could see xx in the 23rd pair now if one x is missing the complete the whole chromosome one copy of x is missing then it would become monosomy and the name of the disorder is called turner syndrome this is also sex chromosome aneuploidy so these are few numerical chromosomal disorders again there are many 
numerical chromosomal disorders which i have not mentioned here let us talk about structural chromosomal disorders that means a part of copy of the chromosome is deleted or inserted or switched between two chromosomes or there may be reverse reversal of these genes first we'll study about deletion this is chromosome where he, here you can see centromere short arm p arm and q arm now let us imagine this much portion of the long arm of this particular chromosome if deleted then it would look like this this is called deletion it could be in the short arm or it could be in the long arm or p arm or q arm example for deletion chromosomal disorders one is wolf hessian syndrome where in chromosome 4 the short arm there is deletion of few genes so here i have written 4 means chromosome number 4 p means short arm okay some amount of genes are deleted towards the end of the short arm another example is crick jo short syndrome here the chromosome 5 the short arm there is a deletion of small portion of the chromosome another example is di george syndrome where long arm there is a micro deletion in the chromosome 22 these three example for deletion structural chromosomal disorders wolf hessian syndrome crick jo short syndrome di george syndrome next example for structural chromosomal disorders is duplication here you could see there is a normal chromosome this is p arm this is q arm this is centromere now let us focus this region suppose this region is duplicated what would happen so the length of the long arm increased okay and the whatever genes present in this region they are duplicated so this is called duplication example for duplication structural chromosomal disorders are pellister killen syndrome where in the chromosome 12 there is a small portion of short arm it is duplicated charcot marie tooth disease here the chromosome 17 short arm there is small portion of genes are duplicated petoxylopsis syndrome where again in the chromosome 17 short arm there are some regions of the chromosomes are duplicated pellister killen syndrome charcot marie tooth disease and petoskey lobsky syndrome translocation so here you can see two chromosomes now suppose imagine this region of this chromosome transfer to this region and the this will be this region the blue chromosome here this portion would be switched to this chromosome this will what is referred as translocation so it would look like this so this portion is from this chromosome and this portion is from this chromosome example for translocation structural chromosomal disorders are acute myeloid leukemia between the switching of the portion of the chromosomes from 8 and chromosome 11 similarly chronic myeloid leukemia where the switching of the part of the chromosomes between chromosome 9 and chromosome 22 even the translocation between chromosome 9 and 22 will lead to lymphoma as well along with chronic myeloid leukemia last structural chromosomal abnormality is called inversion here you can see the normal chromosome so here i have created a different band to understand what is inversion okay so let us focus this much region of this chromosome in the long arm suppose the entire region is inverted up turned upside down 
that is called inversion you can see here so this band is coming here examples hemophilia a long arm of chromosome 10 there is inversion of small portion of chromosomes and Angelman syndrome again long arm of chromosome 15 there is inversion so apart from this there are different types of numerical and structural chromosomal abnormalities which I have not mentioned here so in future I will make a detailed separate video for individual disorders